Kijin. Right, welcome to another video and another early 1800s Northern Pennine shed hole. This was <laughs> at one point a major mine. I've got Peter with me from uh, mine, uh, sorry, Underground Explorer UK. Subscribe and all that stuff. Hello, there he is our hero. Hello. And, oh. uh, we're gonna, this is a tiddler. This used to be a large mine, but due to a collapse at the end, it no longer is. But it is worth a quick look at. And see, it's actually quite a wide mine. And uh, quickly, come on, I'm just still just sucking my, trying to suck my boots off. You can see, there's something that way, maybe a little raise, I'm not sure, but the roof's a bit sketchy. But, ooh, going through the silt. Yeah, we'll work our way through. This comes to a collapse, it's getting a bit thick here, so we're going to switch the camera off and work our way through it. And I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> okay, just a little bit further on, and you can see here. Uh, this is a collapse. Boulder being held by three wooden posts. Uh, not as bad as it looks, actually. Been there through there before, so I'm gonna go through there and we'll meet you on the other side. Action! <laughs> <laughs> right, I've just got through there and I can see, obviously, Peter doing the same thing. You only get one chance at this. <laughs> if you knock that out, yeah, did. Indeed. Very much deep. There you go. So that's uh, where we've been. And that's where we're going to. A bit more water. Uh, what? Get up there. So, see you up there. Uh, yep, I've just come through there. It's up a side deep. It's only a short section. Yeah. He's just doing the same thing. And uh, we're now in one of these arches where it's supported by old rail. And uh, I am. Spikes into the wall. Always enjoy those things. So let's go and uh, see what is beyond. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, so watch Peter having some fun here. <laughs> Lovely, thick. So, story of my life in the mines over the last few weeks. <laughs> right, just around the corner and our first little stove. That actually looks like copper in the in the camera. It's, it's all blue tinted to it. It's not. It's white. There we go, I'll just be very right. This little stove, very little stove. And you can see some uh, old wood there. It's been buried in soap for a long time. So the water has been high. That's definitely green. Yeah, it's green in the camera. Blue, so it's got blue tilt to it in the camera. Well, in reality, it's white. <laughs> yeah, some rotten timbers. Yeah, there we go. Hey, some rotten timbers there, so we now continue on that way. So here we've got uh, Deads on the right hand side. The, if you don't know, Deads were rock that didn't contain a wall, so the miners were not paid to remove it. So they find places to put it, and it looks like this may have been cavity or a little drift going off and they, they finished with it so they just backfill it. So uh, let's uh, continue on. Right, and here we're coming into uh, the little cavity there. We're coming into the workings. So, we'll, uh, looks like there's a vein up here. Well, it looks like there will be a vein up here, as there's a, an ore hopper. See, somebody's put metal sheet in there to try and protect from the water coming down. It's still got its, uh, its gate in place there, so, and the iron rod. That's quite rare for them to survive. Yeah, so somewhere up there. I don't know how they accessed it. Uh, but yeah, working's up there. Mm. Looking back through there. There we go.
also collapsed because it's uh, about to come over. And this comes now into a big white vein. So, yeah, rotten wood up there. Slight slant to the left, but you can see the roof there is a different layer and it's quite solid. He says, even though there's bits on the floor, which I suspect, yeah, there's a big crack. There's a big crack in the wall there, so that'll be from there, uh, so he's coming down. So careful of the wall on the left. Right side looks a lot more solid. Got some calcite there. So we'll go ahead and see what we can see. Yeah, Peter was just pointing out the uh, the wood holding the massive piece of rock up. Still doing it, still managing its job all these many, many, many years later. Um, it's bare, bare condition, this wall here, which has come down. So there we go. And here we got a split. We got a, a right and a left. We shall be seeing that right in a moment. First of all, we're going to go to the left. You can see a coal seam actually coming through here. There it is, weak coal seam. So they may have used that for fuel while they were operating here, so you never know. And beneath us, more rotten collapsed timbers. Joy. Alright. Alright, I just spotted this. Uh, don't know what it is. We sort of laid off something. And we go here. It looks like we've come across a natural cavity. Yeah, there's caves in the area, so that looks like a natural cavity. This is where the lid's from. And here's some deads. The lid's from there. Ah, there's the top. Peter's found the top. And that's an old well, newspaper crumpled up. Is it? Yeah. Ah. Better not touch that thing because it'll just obliterate if you touch that. And if we go up here, we see these coal veins again as we go along. And then this used to go to uh, some very large workings. But. It doesn't anymore, and it actually looks worse uh, than the last time I was here. Ah. You can actually see down there, you'll see in a second, you can actually see further down there last time I was here a couple of years ago. Uh, you definitely can't now, and see that big crack and stuff, yeah. So that would be a dig to get into the major mine, but I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Let's go and explore that other branch. And action. <laughs> right, there's a little collapse as you're heading to the other section, so Peter's gone across that. I'm gonna attempt that now. You can see there's some uh, big slabs here. They would spoil your entire week if they fell on you. So, there we go. Let's uh, go down there. Right, okay, I couldn't remember how far the end was at this end, but here it is, just around the corner, as gloriously modelled by Peter. Ta da! And that whole <laughs> scene going on. So that one went nowhere, it was the other one that uh, went into the big mine. The link is no longer available, so a bit of a tiddler, but a little bonus mine for you there. Oh, some gypsum growing nicely. There we go, so gonna head back out. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe don't forget to uh, subscribe to peter's channel uh mine explorer uk link below and in the pop-up box and all the usual stuff thank you all bye bye peter bye -bye. <laughs> <laughs> and literally just as we said that peter spotted uh, the remains of a tallow candle on there so well done peter peter have a smile there you go. He's been rewarded by a smile. So, I like to smile. There we go. Right. <laughs> see you. Hold on. Keep oh. it on. The sun nope. welling. Oh no. I'm finding it all today. What you got? What you got today, sir? The bottom of a Wellington. Oh, an ancient Wellington from the Battle of Wellington. Maybe. Good maybe there. not. Right. Okay. We'll see you. What's next? On the next <laughs> adventure. If Peter doesn't find anything else. <laughs> Muddy. Ah, give birth to me! <laughs> give birth to me! <laughs> oh shit!
<laughs> and that was it. Easy as that.